non-goals can get you the freedom and happiness you're seeking. Are you a bit overcome by all the emphasis on goals? Wherever you look, there are books and articles and courses all urging you to set goals and get ahead. And maybe it all seems a bit too hard, maybe even too much of a rat race. Sometimes you can get so caught up in visualizing, setting, and tracking goals that there's not much time to do anything. How about having some non-goals? One, what do you want? The first step in freeing yourself from society's expectations is to work out what you want. Maybe it isn't that big house or that executive job. Maybe it's a quiet life with people you love. Perhaps it's art or traveling or writing. But you don't have to be a Pulitzer Prize winner or a Michelin star chef. Whatever makes your heart sing, the thing that brings you deep satisfaction is your non-goal. Two, wealth isn't everything. Money is a tool, not an end in itself. No one disputes that you need a certain income to get by, but it's okay not to want to be wealthy at all costs. That doesn't mean you should live like a hermit, unless of course you want to, but it does mean a certain level of financial savvy. Some basic money management skills can free you from the boom-bust cycle that so many people find themselves in. Having a goal to be wealthy can end up being a mirage, where whatever financial gains you make are never enough. But learning to have more control over your money can free you up to live a more fulfilled life. 3. Non-goals focus on feelings. Having goals can often keep your focus on your problems, on what's wrong with your life. If you have a goal of losing weight or getting out of debt, your mind is always on the negatives and fighting to overcome them. Your self-talk will be about getting thinner or fitter, or beating yourself up for maxing out your credit cards in the first place. You can choose to take a different, non-punitive approach. A non-goal would focus on how you want to feel. How does being thinner or having savings feel? What would that person do? What makes them happy? What's a fun way to do this? Non-goals keep you in the present moment and help you to make better choices right now.